Hey guys, Ernie Schrommeyer here, medical exercise specialist and certified personal trainer from erniesfitnessworld.com. Last week I taught you how to assess your balance and your stability. This week I'm going to show you five moves and give you some tips on how you can increase your balance and your stability for performance and for helping you with your everyday life. The first exercise I'm going to show you is the classic of all classics for balance exercises. It's just standing on one foot. But what I want you to do is you're gonna start using the idea of active rest or active recovery. If you're already exercising, there are natural breaks in your workout between sets, between rounds of a circuit, where normally you'd be sitting and just recovering. What I want you to do is after you finish your exercise and you're resting before you go back to the next set, up on your feet, stand on one foot, balance yourself for 30 seconds. If you need somebody to help you stabilize, to hold your hand, to put your hand on the wall or hold a chair, you can do that. Uh, to add a little bit of a, of a challenge as you go through them, bring your leg up. And so now you're between sets, you're going to hold for 30 seconds with your leg up. And a third type of challenge would be to have your leg out to the side. So active rest between exercises, 30 seconds of each of these moves. Okay, the second exercise, it's going to be using something, um, a tool that we use a lot in the workouts. It's a resistance band, so a rubber exercise band. When you're using a band, the further that you move away from the attachment point, the more stress there is on the abdomen, and it's going to help you strengthen your core for more stability, which is really important with balance. So as you move out, you're going to feel it gets really tight in the abdomen, but what we're going to do today is we're going to play with your foot position. So one foot forward is very, very, very stable. The other foot forward, the same thing is stable. If your feet are straight across when you're doing your presses, it gets more challenging because you're not as stable. If you bring your feet together, it gets very hard, and the ultimate would be to do it on one foot, which is really tough. So you can do your chest presses or your rows in that fashion, moving further away, feet wide for stability, close for instability, and one leg for a real challenge. This is a tough one, so a little bit more advanced, but if you're using the, that in the workout, you can use that to help you with your balance. In everyday life, you have situations where you're, the weight that you're lifting or you're moving is unstable or uneven. If you're holding a bag of groceries or holding a baby and you have to pick up a set of keys, for instance, it's not stable and you have to work on stability with your body. So what I like to have clients do sometimes is hold a dumbbell in one hand as they're doing their squats. So you've got an offset, uneven weight. You do your repetitions on one side, and switch to the other. And if you want to add a little bit something to it, like I was saying, the example of picking up your keys, you would bend down to pick them up. So you're touching the ground, feeding closer, makes it a lot harder. Out wide, makes it a lot more stable. Okay, so an uneven balance can help you develop some core stability and some balance. We're going to revisit for the fourth exercise, we're going to revisit the single leg hold. This time, what I want to, to emphasize is the idea of progression. So We've got a hard surface floor here, so it's a hard tile floor. I'm in shoes, it's a very stable base. So as I'm doing my balance exercise, it's not really that challenging unless I move around. So that's the beginning, very stable, hard floor with a shoe on. The progression would be to move to hard surface with no shoes. So you see my foot is moving, so without a shoe on, it becomes more challenging to balance. Then I would move to soft surface, so here I am on a, on a karate floor with an exercise mat, so it starts to get a little squishy. So balancing shoe on, on a soft surface, and then finally, no shoe on a soft surface, so it gets a lot more challenging to do your balance exercise. You can do this outside on the grass, you can do it in your house on the carpet, but you can stand on a pillow, but that's the progression. Hard floor, shoe, no shoe on hard floor, Shoe on a soft surface, no shoe on a soft surface. Final exercise. Find a line on the floor or take a piece of masking tape, put it down about five feet on the floor, and you're just gonna walk the plank. You're gonna go heel to toe, kind of like a tightrope walker. Okay, so one foot in front of the other. You can even practice just standing here. That's gonna challenge your balance as well. With my clients, we progress to an actual four, uh, two by four on the ground, and we're walking the plank. Okay, so there's five drills you can do. Visit me at erniesfitnessworld.com. Check out Fitness Solutions and The Spectator every Wednesday. Have a great day.